Kevin, this is Sony's new big little camera, <laughs> as opposed to little big camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting. We're going to talk about this. This is the Sony RX10 II. That's the Sony RX104. I wish they'd do it like cars, Mustang, Camaro, <laughs> these things well, easy to do. <laughs> at least they've got the one, two, three, four, so we can, we can at least understand okay, that part. So, but we're going to talk about this. Uh, this camera is a very interesting mm. option for some users. Uh, it has a one-inch sensor, and one-inch sensors these days are really good. Uh, this has Sony's latest one-inch sensor. It's uh, backside illuminated. It has the electronics removed. So it, it, this thing can shoot at, I think, 14 frames per second. It shoots 4K video. It has more features than you can shake a stick at. And nice photographer-oriented uh, features such as uh, an actual aperture ring, ramp. which right now is smooth and silent. So you have clickable, but you flip the switch. Oh, very sweet. And it's now clickable. And it's in one-third increments, yes. One-third increments. So the lens is an actual 8.8 .8 to 73.3 millimeter, but in full frame 35 millimeter terms, which helps us to explain yeah. everything, it's 24 to 200. <laughs> and it's a fixed 2.8. So it's 2.8 all the way from 24 Clever to 200. That's a nice range. It's really, a, it's, it's a, this would be an all-purpose vacation camera. Though. That's the point. This is a great camera for someone who wants to travel light, yep. who wants a reasonably fast aperture all the way out to moderate telephoto, who wants to shoot 4K videos. It's got an articulated LC, uh, rear LCD. It's not touchscreen, which I wish it was. Well, none of the Sonys are. None of the Sonys are. Um, now, an interesting point of comparison to make is with one of my favorite recent cameras, also a one-inch sensor, and it's a Canon camera. This is the Canon uh, G3X. It's a little lighter, it's a little smaller. This has an accessory... Oh, it really is. Yeah. This has an accessory EVF. Um, this has a built-in EVF. This has a 24 to 600 millimeter lens, but it's 2.8 to five six. So as the saying goes, you pays your money and you takes your choice. I know you really like this. You've done a great review on this and uh, image watched the image. You've shown me some of the image quality compared to like my Tamron. Really, you can't really tell them apart. It's that good and this is kind of a small package. And this is similar because this basically, these use the same Sony sensor. Canon has sourced the sensor for this mm -hmm. camera from Sony. It's not the absolutely latest generation with the off-board electronics, but essentially it's... Uh, see how fast that shoots? That really is pretty cool. That's raw. Silent <laughs> shutter too, I presume? Silent shutter as well. Um, so there are some really interesting choices in this category. Uh, this isn't quite a super zoom. Uh, it's... Well, the same, you're going to get the, roughly the same image quality because the sensor is the same. same. Um, this goes in your pocket. This goes over your shoulder. Um, this is limited to about five minutes of 4K because of heating mm -hmm. issues. This will do 30 minutes. Uh, so there are all kinds of things to weigh off. Uh, this is a nice alternative to a uh, compact system camera, a mirrorless right. camera, or a DSLR. Uh, great versatility, and for probably nine out of 10 photographers, as much image quality as you need. You know, this is getting really hard. You know, how, <clears throat> I've loved this little camera because I've always wanted a camera I can take <laughs> in my pocket or take somewhere with me. Yeah. You know, this one has all that vacation capability. You could shoot street photography from across the, the street used a 200 millimeter length on it and everything. Exactly. And now they must have made some nice deal because I've got a little blue Zeiss label. You've got Zeiss uh, lens here. Yeah. And, no, these you know, are these are the Sony these line. are Sony manufactured Zeiss lenses, and there's been a lot of discussion sure. about this in <clears throat> mid 2015. What does that mean? And essentially, what it means is the design is by Zeiss. 
It's manufactured by a third party. In this case, it's manufactured by Sony, but it's supervised mm -hmm. by the lens has to meet certain standards. And, um, you know, who, there are very few lenses that are actually built by Zeiss themselves in Germany. And those include their $30,000 cine lenses. So <laughs> otherwise, well, I, I think one thing I'm impressed by it is like somewhere along the line, they must have different departments at Sony. That, Sony is just pumping cameras out right now. It's incredible. So this month, August of 15, uh, we now have shipping uh, the RX100 Mark IV, Four. the RX10 Mark II, and uh, the A7R Mark II. You well, notice I said that all You said it all right. But don't let's not forget the A7 II. Which is, is not that old. Not that old. 24 megapixels for those that want it, and image, same stuff. And the A7S. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah. the high... Well, the A7S would be more for the video it's and the video high oriented. capability. And if you want to shoot at ISO 200,000, you can. <laughs> Although, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. I mean, these do have really nice high... Anyhow. And, you know, one of the things you didn't mention, and I presume it, it works the same here, is... 960 frames per second slow-mo on this. I presume that works the same I, way. In my review, I will have some samples of the slow-mo video. 240 frames a second in HD at virtually 10, 1980, 10, uh, 1920, 1080 uh, a full HD quality, and then all the way up to 920, 60. 960 frames per second uh, in reduced resolution, but still not bad. This is the kind of stuff that used to be available from a multi-hundred thousand dollar oh, yeah. phantom it's... video camera for Hollywood or scientific instruments. Yeah, I, I went out in the garden with this thing and we're photographing bees and butterflies and just the elegance of the wings at that speed. And one of the tricks is, and of course you'll read about it in the, um, the reviews and we, where, we, where we talk about these, but I set it for uh, shooting at the end. So basically, because this thing goes into standby mode, you, you would have to anticipate when to do it. Mm -hmm. But Sony's very cleverly lets the thing kind of cycle through as a loop. So like if you're watching something and it's slow-mo and we'll say the horse is going over the jump, you know, you can just push the button at the end of the sequence. And it captures the last few seconds. seconds. Yeah. Really, really cool. At a Sony event in Portland, uh, they had set up a number of things, uh, one of them being a boxing match. And it was really cool. You can never anticipate when someone's going to land oh, a no, punch. No. But if you press the button when the punch has landed, now you've yep. got the several seconds leading up to the land. It's, it's what's very amazing cool. is what's being packed into <laughs> all this stuff today. And the prices are not bad. No, cool. well, we got all, we, we, you know, we're happy with this and we're certainly playing with it all. Anyway, more toys, more fun, more tools. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.